YouTube! Woo! Happy holidays. This is my sister-in-law, because now I'm married, you know that. Um, and today we're making Polish klatchkis. So are you Polish? Do you know how to make klatchkis? This is one way to do it, so get excited. I'm gonna tell you what's in it, and then you're gonna see a little vlog. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so we need sour cream, vanilla, baking powder, cream cheese, doesn't matter the brand, softened butter, which kind? Unsalted. Unsalted. Flour, all this flour, doesn't matter, or it doesn't matter the kind. They ra we do raspberry filling, cherry filling, can you see that? Good. Good, plum, apricot, rose. And this is a new, this is a new kind, this is Polish. This is Polish. Rose hip, it's from the leaves of roses. Right now, we're mixing, and we put extra sour cream in, like maybe like two tablespoons. And what you can do is if it's too wet, you can just add some flour. So then we put it in the stand mixer, and it's going, and we're using the dough hook. Oh, we had a locket. Gonna, I'll put in the description box all the um, like amounts, and so you can do it. But it has to chill overnight, so we're just gonna finish up this dough. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge. Three hours. Three hours, but we're gonna do it overnight, okay? Okay, three hours. And then we'll show you the update tomorrow. Okay, now we're kneading. Let's look at some texture here. I'm gonna get around you. It's a better shot. Refrigerator. So now we're working on pierogi dough. Pierogies are like the little Polish dumplings. Um, so what you need is to boil, how many potatoes do we do? Five potatoes. Five potatoes and then we're mashing them. Mash, mash, mash. And then we chopped one onion and just sauteed it in a little bit of butter. That's gonna go into the potatoes. And then we do pierogi dough. Oh, and then you need a pound of, a pound of farmer's milk, which, cheese. cheese. cheese cheese, not milk, hold on. Okay, now it's in focus, okay. So that, there's lots of varieties, doesn't really matter, just one pound, and that will go in the dough for the pierogies. You wanna add a pinch of salt, a little bit of oil, and you wanna have warm water ready and one egg. Make a well in the flour, and then start by adding the egg, and that's our salt. Mixing it with your fingers on the table is fine. It's about eight cups of flour, and you're just slowly adding the warm water. We ended up needing more than just that two cup measure of warm water. And just mixing, 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 mixing until you start to see the dough come together. All right, in the mixer we have the mashed potatoes along with the farmer's cheese and the onions. We're just salting and peppering the dough. Then you're gonna roll out, roll out the dough until it's a nice thin, about a quarter of a centimeter, pretty thin, um, so that they don't get too puffy. All right, with a pizza cutter, you're going to draw or cut strips into the dough. First horizontal, then vertical to make squares. Squares should be between an inch and a half to two inches. Then you're gonna take about a tablespoon of dough, of the mashed potato dough, and you're going to put that into the center of the pierogi. You're gonna fold the opposite corners together, making sure that no dough is sticking out. Pinch on all corners and then pull the two corners in together. Once the pierogies are made, you're going to drop them in boiling water individually. You'll put about 15 in a bowl at a time. And when they boil, come to the top, you'll cook them for about four minutes and then take them out. Once you take them out, they will look like this. You will douse them in butter. How's it taste? How's the dough? 
Alright, on to Klotchkis. We have taken out the refrigerated dough and we've just dusted the surface with flour and are rolling it out. You're going to do two cuts again to make the squares with the pizza cutter. These are a little bit smaller squares. Alright, you're going to put the fruit jam into the center of each of the squares, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. We just use spoons to put it out. Then once all the jam is in the center, you will start to fold the kolachkis, two corners together and a pinch. All right, once your kolachkis are all ready to go in the oven, you'll put them down on a piece of parchment paper and they can go pretty close together. They won't expand that much. And you just line them up like little pigs in a blanket, all ready to go in. Oven should be set to 350 and it takes about 10 to 12 minutes. We do just watch for them to get just slightly golden brown. This is all the different flavors coming together and at the very end when they're nice and hot, go ahead and dust some powdered sugar on top. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your pierogies and clutch keys.